It was a made-for-television event fitting of a former reality TV star, a slickly produced opening sequence, and speaker after speaker who lauded the leadership of the incumbent and cast Democrats as radical leftists who would fundamentally change the character of a nation. Biden has promised to take that money back out of your pocket and keep it in the swamp. That makes sense, though, considering Joe Biden is basically the Loch Ness Monster of the swamp. For the past half century, he's been lurking around in there. He sticks his head up every now and then to run for president. Then he disappears and doesn't do much in between. Joe Biden and the radical left are now coming for our freedom of speech. They want to bully us into submission. If they get their way, it will no longer be the silent majority. It will be the silenced majority. These are my friends. These are the incredible workers that helped us. Breaking with tradition, the president made several appearances at the convention on day one, including in a video with health care workers and first responders. As Republicans sought to portray his leadership on tackling the coronavirus pandemic as decisive, despite over 180,000 American deaths. I want to tell you, sir, as a nursing supervisor, I am so in awe of your leadership, honestly. Uh, I know many people have said often interesting things, but it takes a true leader to be able to ignore all that stuff and do what is right and not be offended by all the words being said. Yeah. And you really do show that positive spirit to us. And as nurses, I appreciate that. But just as an individual, I'm grateful for that. It became a systematic repudiation of accusations lobbed at the president, his alleged incompetence and indifference, an economy on its knees, and that he is a racist. It hurt my soul to hear the terrible names that people call Donald. The worst one is racist. I take it as a personal insult that people would think I've had a 37-year friendship with a racist. People who think that don't know what they're talking about. Growing up in the deep south, I've seen racism up close. I know what it is, and it isn't Donald Trump. Trump's former UN ambassador, seen as a future presidential candidate for the party, argued that the president had earned a second term and her support. A Biden-Harris administration would be much, much worse. Last time, Joe's boss was Obama. This time, it would be Pelosi, Sanders, and the squad. Their vision for America is socialism, and we know that socialism has failed everywhere. They want to tell Americans how to live and what to think. They want a government takeover of health care. They want to ban fracking and kill millions of jobs. They want massive tax hikes on working families. Joe Biden and the socialist left would be a disaster for our economy. Tuesday's speaking list will be headlined by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and First Lady Melania Trump, who will speak from the Rose Garden at the White House. Sherman Briceby's SABC News, New York.